What is up, dudes? Today, we're going to be talking about five style tips to keep you looking at your best. Let's not mess around. The video title says it all. So let's get into the first style tip. The first thing I want to talk about is all about pilling, those fuzzy little balls that you get on your clothing. Unless you're made of money, I take it you wear the same items of clothing over and over again in your wardrobe. After long periods of wear and multiple washes, your clothes eventually start to pill, which is those tiny little bubbles that you get on the surface of your clothing. I hate these things, and I'm sure you do too. They can make a fresh look look a bit scruffy. But there are a few things that you can do to get rid of these horrible little balls, and you'll be looking fresh in no time. The first thing that you can use to get rid of them is called a fabric shaver, and it does exactly what it says on the tin. What it does is it skims over the surface of your clothing, and it just shaves off those balls that are sticking out of your clothes. If you don't already own one of these items, because let's face it, it's not really the sort of thing you just have knocking around your house, a razor will do the same job, and also you can use a pair of scissors. Just be careful with a razor and scissors though, because you don't want to end up taking your finger off, or even worse, your hand. Before I knew about this tip, I used to throw clothing away or just never wear it again, and it's just such an easy fix. So if you didn't know this already, then start doing it to the older items of clothing in your wardrobe to give them a new look. So you're looking good and you're ready to head out the house. You sit down to tie your shoelaces, and then you realize that you've just sat down in the chair where the cat likes to sleep. Oh no. Now your fresh fit is covered in cat hair. Rather than having to run upstairs to change into another outfit, or going out covered in cat hair, what you can use is something called a lint roller, or a fabric brush. These items you just roll or brush over the surface of your clothing, and it just picks up the hairs in no time at all. To be honest with you, I seem to attract a lot of hair and fluff anyway, so I normally give my clothes a going over with one of these items before heading out the door, to just freshen up my look a bit. The difference it makes is huge, and you're just going to look a lot neater and a lot tidier. Most clothing stores do sell lint rollers for a really affordable price, and I know IKEA do them as well. So if you're heading out for some delicious meatballs or a stress-filled visit to one of their stores, then don't forget to pick some of these up the next time you're there. A fabric brush is a little bit more expensive, but you won't have to replace it as much. It's also supposed to be a lot kinder to your clothing, but whichever you choose, you're going to be heading out the house looking your best. Do you have items of clothing lying around the house that have faded so much that you just don't want to wear them anymore? Maybe they were your favourite pair of jeans and the store you bought them from has stopped selling them. Don't get me wrong, the faded look can look really good with certain items of clothing, but with others it just doesn't look great. But rather than throwing them out or never wearing them again, just get yourself some clothes dye. I've done this so many times with my own clothing and it makes older items look brand new again. The best thing about these dyes as well is they're really affordable, you can use them at home, and they last for a long time. So whether or not you just want to give your clothes a freshen up and dye them the same colour, or you want to completely change the colour of an item of clothing, these dyes are going to work wonders. And the best part is, they're a lot cheaper than having to go out and replace that item of clothing. Another little tip is when you're looking in the sale, there's normally the gross colours left over. Buy the gross colours and dye it the colour you want. If colour is something that you struggle with, then what I always say on this channel is stick to wearing neutral colours. But for those of you who like to play around with colour, then my next tip is to find out which skin tone you've got. Once you find out which skin tone you've got, then you can start wearing the colours that suit your skin tone the best. The way you can do this is by examining your veins in natural light. So get those veins out. <laughs> that sounds gross. If your veins appear blue or purple, then you've got a cooler skin tone. If your veins are green or greenish blue, then you've got a warmer skin tone. And if you can't tell whether your veins are green or blue, like me, then you've probably got a neutral skin tone. So once you've found out what skin tone type you have, just Google it and see which colours work best for you, and then start buying items of clothing in those colours. So in future, you can stop buying the colours that don't work for you and focus on the ones that do, and you can feel confident that the colours you're wearing are working with your skin tone. I think I get asked about sizing on here and on Instagram the most out of any question. And the thing that saved me was a tape measure. Now I know this sounds obvious, but hear me out. Now that we're doing a lot of our shopping online, now is the time to be using a tape measure more than ever. For example, when buying a new sweatshirt, I take the measurements of my favourite sweater that I already own, 
and jot those numbers down. Most stores these days have sizing charts on their websites. So what you do is you take your measurements that you've written down and you compare them with the sizing charts on their website. Then you just buy the sweater that comes closest to the measurements that you put down. Then you can be sure that that sweater is gonna fit you well. Of course, you can do this to all of the items in your wardrobe. So when it comes to buying a new item of clothing, you know what is gonna fit you well. After a while of doing this, you'll know your measurements off the top of your head. But until you do, use a tape measure. The other great thing about knowing your measurements is if you have an item of clothing that's too big for you, you can take it to the tailor and then tell the tailor your exact measurements and it just makes their life so much easier and you're gonna have an item of clothing that fits you perfectly. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like. I also upload fashion related content every week to the channel. So if that sounds good to you, then please do hit subscribe as well. Also, let me know what you thought about the sound of this video, if it was any better or any worse. Do you like that light in the background? I do, but let me know all those things down in the comments. Any questions as well, I'll answer them down there and I'll see you next week. See ya.